All right, folks. So today I am going to be testing some different uh, fire starting methods. All right, stay tuned. All right, so a buddy of mine, he hooked me up with this little fire starting kit, right? And he built and put together everything in here. All right, so we got some waxed rope. I think it's, uh, it's kind of like hemp rope, something like that. Um, I already took a little chunk out. I got it prepared here. And we're going to go down the line. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different things that uh, we're going to be testing today. But he gave me this little box. Um, and under this Ranger band, take that off. He used an old Altoids tin. Um, it's well put together. I've already tested everything in here, and I wanted to do it. Save your tape. I want to do it live for you guys. Ah, cheers. All right, so let's pop it open and see what's in there. All right, so we've got, I'm not sure what this material is, this jellied material here. We're going to try this as well. It looks like there's a piece of like uh, maybe parchment paper or wax paper in there. I actually didn't have this set up to do a test with, but we will try. All right. We have some, it looks like cotton. A little roll of cotton, but it's saturated with wax. All right. We're going to be testing that. This is is a regular drinking straw crimped on both ends and it's got cotton inside he was also telling me that you know you could put vaseline on it as well and put it in here we're not going to be trying that today we're just going to use the cotton straight up i've used cotton before works good fat wood i get it out um fat wood is from dead pine trees. If you find the right dead pine tree and dig in there, you'll find where the sap has saturated the wood. It's almost like amber, but it's still wood. Uh, it'll burn forever, kind of like a candle. Ah, smell that pine, you gotta love it. All right, what else we got in here? He put a uh, magnesium rod in here. Um, there's a little candle which that candle alone, if, if it was cold outside and you were lost, I don't know the guy's channel, but I seen this not too long ago, just kind of surfing through YouTube. Um, he showed that like if, if you kind of hunker down, pull your, your bivy or whatever you got around you, your jacket, and kind of pull it over your head, you could light a candle underneath of it and it'll keep you warm. So, you know, that's always an option. But uh, we also have some wax pressed onto, it looks like some sort of cotton fiber. Uh, what else we got in here? I think that is it. So I'm going to bring you down here where you can see what I have situated. And uh, we're just going to go down the line and see what the best is. Uh, I, I've got them all to work, so it would be really hard for me to say what the best is, but uh, they all work, and I just want to show you that they work. I know I've talked about these methods, but, you know, sometimes seeing is believing, so I'm going to show you, all right? I'm not going to be using the rod that he put in there. I don't have a handle. Mine's a little longer, so you can, I can, I've got a better stroke with this, and I'm doing it in my shop. As soon as I get at the light, I'm going to snuff them out. I don't want to fill my shop up with a bunch of different smelling smokes. But there's nothing here that's uh, toxic, you know, nothing that's it's going to hurt me or anything. So it's pouring the rain if you can't hear. Uh, so this is what we're doing today. What's up, Mr. Loke? So I'll bring you back once I get it set up. Nothing. All right, guys, let me try to get you... Uh, oriented here where you can see everything all right we are good to hook <clears throat> it 
So first up, we got this gel strip, which I need to cut into it and get it fluffed up here a little bit. <laughs> Fluffer. All right, let's see here. All right, and we got the paratender from the paracord I mentioned. All right, we got this wax rope. We've got this cotton plug, saturated in wax. Let me get that fluffed up here. We have fat wood. We've got a little bit of this uh, waxy cotton strip here. We're gonna cut a little. So let's get this torqued up here. Yeah, it's so waxy, it's hard to get it real fluffed up. But we're going to find which of all these is the best. And there's our regular cotton. All right, so we're going to start at the end here. This is gel-covered cotton. See what it does. Now I got this to go first time. When I tried it earlier, I don't think I got it fluffed up there enough. There we go. All right, so it took a few times. I could have, I could have fluffed it up a little bit better. It's all about air. You want your tender bundle to be kind of snug and tight, but you also want air to be able to get in there. Because as soon as that spark hits it and it hits a point to where it'll ignite, if it don't have air getting to it, you're just going to have smoldering embers that you could actually turn into a fire. But you, you want to you see that flame, you know? So, all right. So here we are at the paratender. I'm not sure what the paratender core is made of. It's probably like just string with some sort of uh, dense wax. Let's see what happens here. Yep, there we go. Pretty good. All right, now the wax rope. I think this is uh, this is a pretty good one. That's pretty damn good. Lit up quick. And as you can see, the way it's made, there's a lot of air that can get in there. See how like loose and feathery that is? That's perfect. And where it's a natural material, you know, once, once she goes, she burns good. And that wax kind of helps uh, extend the burn time, just like a candle. You know, if you burn a string, it's just going to burn up quick. You coat that string in wax, light it on fire, it's going to burn for a few minutes. Make sense? There we go. Now, there's a way you could kind of doctor an ember, okay? So, once you get an ember, even if you don't have a flame, put a little bit of tinder on it, and scoop it up in your hand if you wanted to, or just kind of protect it, gently blow on it, and it'll turn to flame. But we're going for flame on this one. So that was the cotton plug, saturated in wax. As you can tell, that did a pretty good job. All right, so the fat wood here. Now this fat wood, uh, he said he harvested it a while back. It's a little bit old. It's been in there rubbing shoulders with this other stuff, but everything in here is flammable should work just fine. Oh, shit. I had it, and then I knocked it off. <laughs> Hope y'all seen that. But it worked. We'll go ahead and light it up again, though. Oh, I had it. Come on, baby, burn. 
Ah, did it again, and it went out. Now, I think the fat wood does have somewhat of a shelf life if you're storing it. It might be to do with the, the humidity because it still pours, even though it's saturated in the sap from the pine tree. I think this really, really wet air we have right now, it has, uh, it has a bit of an effect on it, just the damp air because it'll absorb it right up. Fat wood did pretty good. All right, now I think this might be a bit of a problem here. Let's try to get some of these fluffier pieces on top. All right, so this is the wax coated cotton pad, some sort. Oh, oh we had, I don't know if you can see it because it's on the other side. I just went out. There was a flame. There we go. All right, and the cotton. Now, from experience, cotton works great. You know, you could put a little Vaseline on it and make like a little candle out of it. Uh, cotton, cotton has many uses. But we're just going to dry cotton right now. And again, you put it in these little straws, crimp the end, burn it, crimp the end, burn it on this side. You can carry a few of these with you. Totally waterproof, you know. It could be pouring in the rain as long as you crimped it right. That cotton's going to be fine in there. You can use it when you need it. Yep, cotton. First time go. So out of all of these, <clears throat> as you can see, cotton performed the best. I'd say this uh, this hemp rope saturated in wax did well. It all did well, really. I mean, you could start a fire with any of this stuff. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, if you don't want to join one of those monthly clubs that sends you stuff like this or go buy a kit, all you need to do is get you an old tin. You don't have to be Altoids. It can be whatever you want. All right. Let me bring you back up here. It can be whatever you want, as long as it's waterproof. You know, one of these little dry boxes. Um, a lot of people around here like to use boxes like that when they're going rafting. Keep the phone in it, cigarettes, lighter, whatever. <laughs> Other things. Um but a dry box is good to have. However, a little Altoids tin, which it's not perfectly sealed airtight. That's why, you know, you might wanna get some electrical tape. Cause electrical tape, the way it's stretchy, you know, you could put it tight around it and go all the way around and waterproof your own box. Okay, too easy pry. Uh, but the point is, you can collect all these things. You probably got a lot of these things laying around, especially cotton. You can get cotton anywhere. Uh, a, lot, a lot of ways to start a fire. But like I said, to me, survival and being prepared, I, I'm a minimalist. So I don't like to take, you know, like a big, huge rucksack with me into the woods unless I'm going out to stay a while and I got to take some food. Um... You know, if Loki's with me, got to have plenty of clean, fresh water, especially if I'm not going to be around the water source, a clean water source where he could get a drink. So usually I'm, I'm all about minimalism. And, you know, this is minimalism. I have so many fire starting uh, items in here that I'll be good to go. Throw that in my bag on top of what I already have. I mean, I have this alone i can get a fire going but it's all about conserving your energy you don't want to be out there trying to do a friction fire making a bow drill with your damn boot laces or anything like you're burning a lot of calories you're expending a lot of energy that you're going to need to do other things you know if you're if you have to make a camp if, if you have to bug out you know, you don't want to be burning a lot of energy until you get established out there. So the quicker means of getting you a fire, uh, you know, that's that's a win. And it's, it's a mental win, too. You know, fire 
in a situation like that, that's a huge mental win. It, it changes the whole game. If you're out there cold and hungry, that sucks. But if you're out there warm and hungry, that's, that's a lot better. All right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I told my buddy I'd do a little test and everything in his box works great. So I'm happy for it. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Y'all stay safe out there. Beard one.